Hi, this is Sri from Techie Talks AI. This is the third video in our robotics series where we are going to build step by step lay robot SO101. Today's video, all we are going to do is to see what it takes to install the software. I have MacBook Pro M4. That is what I will use. We will install the Python environment that is needed as per the hugging face uh, documentation. And then we will connect the motor and number them. That is the first and very important step that we need to do. So this will install the needed Conda library. And then we here we create an environment which I have already done. I am in this lay robot environment folder. And then we need to activate lay robot. But in my case, it is already activated and then ffmpeg we can install then this git clone lay robot we need to clone the repo okay so that is done after cloning the lay robot repo we cd into that folder and then pip install the needed libraries and also lay robot core library and then i have also installed pip install this fee tech this is the chinese company that is making these motors okay then we need to come to this page for so101 that is the model that we are building in so100 we had to open this motor and remove the gear for the leader arm we don't want to do that so 101 is the latest version okay where we don't need to open these motors but for the leader arm we will need to have different gear ratio that we will come to that but in this video we are going to set up the motors for the follower arm it is important to note for the follower arm all the motors are of one is to 325 ratio which that will be you can see that hopefully see that in here okay so the ratio is 1 is to 345 all the six motors for the follower arm will have 1 is to 345 gear ratio so what we're going to do first is after installing all the libraries, just follow the steps and install it. You need to, first we need to execute this command, lay robot find port. Okay. Before we do that, make sure that you connect the USB, USB serial bus driver card. So I have my, USB C to normal USB converter and using the micro USB cable, I have connected the serial bus driver card. Before executing, lay robot find port. Let me clear the screen and execute the command lay robot find port. What it's saying is remove the USB cable from your motor bus and press enter when done. Okay, I'm removing the serial bus card and pressing enter. So it is telling me the USB serial port is 2110. Okay. That is slash dev tty dot usb serial hyphen 2110 that we need to remember for our subsequent commands now most important thing is they will only need to connect one motor at a time to the serial bus in order to number the motors so i'm going to Connect back the serial bus card and connect it just one motor. 
फिर मोटर हैज गॉट टू सॉकेट एनी वन बी कैन यूज दैट आइडेंटिकल दिस इज फॉर डेसी चेनिंग सो एंड दिस केबल कम्स विद द मोटर एंड इट इज कनेक्टेड टू वन ऑफ दीज पोर्ट्स एंड माई मोटर इज सेवन पॉइंट फोर वॉल्ट डीसी मोटर सो मेक श्योर दैट यू कनेक्ट इट ऑन द करेक्ट साइड दिस साइड इज the 6 to 9 volt power and this is what is powering this and this side socket gets that power okay so i have connected just one motor and i have also identified the port address now we need to execute the next command to set the motor ids so this is the command to set the motor ids for the follower arm okay so i copy this much and paste it and give the port address of my serial bus driver card and i will press enter connect the controller board to the gripper motor only and press enter so this is gripper motor i am going to put a sticker on the motor and i'll press enter press enter gripper motor id set to 6 so i will write grip grip 6 connect now it says connect the controller board to wrist roll motor okay so what i am going to do is i am going to remove this motor and take another motor and connect it okay pressing putting this sticker also and Okay, wrist roll motor ID set to five. I will just write the number five. Okay, now now connect the controller board to wrist flex motor. So this is six. This is five, and let me connect. Now the motor. Okay, putting the sticker. You don't need to put the sticker if you are keeping the motor in the correct order. Okay, wrist flex motor ID set to four. Okay, that is removed. Next, next motor. make sure that you are connecting only one motor at a time so there is no bus conflict okay so motor elbow flex motor id set to 3 so that is the three okay next motor sticker okay shoulder lift motor id set to 2 Okay, so last motor.
sticker okay shoulder pan motor id set to one so this is our motor number one okay so all six motors have been calibrated so all the six motors have been labeled in its internal ee prompt now these motors know their number that is it i just want to keep the video short in the next video we'll start assembling step by step one motor will connect make sure that it moves and then we'll connect the second motor okay so that is it thank you for your time this is three from techie talks ai please remember to subscribe for this new robotic series so that 2026 is your year to master robotics and we also offer one on one mentorship and also we have excellent internship if you're studying engineering etc you can join our internship program as well and all the parts that we are showing you can buy from us or you, you can buy from the market so we also offer fully tested robotic arms and also as kit so that you can buy the printed uh, parts from us and also the motor from us thank you for your time please remember to like share and subscribe and give your valuable comments Please remember to like, share and subscribe and give your valuable comments. Bye-bye. Stuck with tech? Overwhelm my AI cloud or coding? Mentor Expert gives you personalized one-on-one -on -one help, step-by-step guidance and instant clarity. Your solution starts here.